hello and welcome I'm Zinder and this is some mod of Minecraft modded it myself uh, first things first let's go through the list we've got the default things MCP forge mod loader Minecraft forge and then we've got Chode code chicken core Mobius core uh, NEI open computers uh, a map mod that's not like any other, like, first of all, I don't have a map until I craft it, and even then, it's kind of... It looks like a simple map from, like, older games. Uh, you'll understand when I get there. It's actually an item that I have to carry with me if I want to keep the map, though. Uh, CFH Core, Buildcraft, which has had a lot of really nifty things added to it lately. Mine Factory Reloaded. Artifice for partly cosmetics, partly practicalities. Uh, better storage. Uh, this and one other mod are pretty much our primary storage methods in this game, in this pack. Uh, big reactors, but it's on its default settings, so power's a little bit more realistic. I might, I might turn it down some, but maybe not. We'll see. Uh, carpenter's blocks, cosmetic armor. Uh, Sadly, this doesn't add anything itself as far as I'm aware, just a GUI, so I'll probably never use it. Menagerie, this adds in some more Minecraft-ish type of uh, mobs. Uh, they're more within the general theme of Minecraft, as opposed to things like Mo Creatures or Lycanite's mobs. Uh, Enderio, because I love that mod. Extra Biomes, because I like having some extra stuff extra biome type stuff to enhance Minecraft a little bit, but I'm not a huge fan of biomes of plenty. Uh, fast Craft just optimizes little bits and pieces of Minecraft that are kind of crap, like Hopper Code. Fast Leaf Decay is the random thing style of basically instant leaf decay. Uh, Amibus Core, which is the requirement for his mods, and I believe the only mod of his I really have is Infinitubes. Uh, inventory Tweaks, Logistics Pipes, Mine chem, which I accidentally strolled. This is something I want to use heavily in this pack. I call it a pack, but it's not actually an official pack. It doesn't have a name. I haven't contacted anybody about it. It's an assortment of mods, but it, it's my collection of mods. Uh, Mr. TJP Core, which I don't remember which mod this is a requirement for, but uh, we've got Project Red, Railcraft, some additional circuits for the programmable RedNet controller. Uh... Numino, which is one of the required mods for machine uses modular power suits. Uh, this is pretty much the top of the line for the armor we can acquire in this mod pack. Uh, Neto computers, which is pretty much red power computers, if you remember that. It uses the stack based operating system. So I'm pretty sure that it's supposed to do because that's what it said that it is. Uh, open computers, thermal foundation. I do not have thermal expansion. I intentionally don't have thermal expansion. I have this specifically because I needed access to the ores and the ability to make platinum. Because I can't get platinum directly. I've disabled nickel generation. There is no way to get platinum as a secondary effect. I can only create platinum through mine chem. Which I did for a very good reason. Uh, because I have big reactors, the turbines, platinum is going to be the best block type available to me in here. Uh, things like Endurium are going to show up, and actually, I can I can technically make Endurium, but I'll show that to you when we get there. Open modular turrets. I don't know how stable this is. I haven't tested it. I it reminds me of like the ICBM turrets, but I'm but it's called modular, so I'm assuming it's much different than them in a way. Clay spawn, so we can have some extra clay spawning underground. Uh, Project Blue. This it allows. Uh, Project Red's cable wiring system to hook into the uh, to interface with MFR's circuit network so we can combine the two. Storage drawers. This is the other primary storage method of this mod pack but I haven't messed with it so this is probably going to be the first storage that I want to try. Uh, translocator for when Minecraft hoppers just don't do their job. Or I should say don't do it fast enough. Wyla and Wyla Harvestability, so I can, you know, make it easier for you guys to identify where things come from. Uh, Z-Tones has decorative blocks. It also adds in some, like, artifact type things, which I forgot to disable in the config, so, and I'm not sure how strong they are, so 
I might leave the min to play with it if I think something's too strong. I'll just throw it away and go disable the spawning of those in the config. So that's pretty much all of our mods. Uh, I created a world to check and see that some other things were working after I'd done some... I fought and fought in order to get thermal foundation to actually spawn stuff for me, but... And uh, I don't want to just use this world as it's named. I'm going to call this series Factory Craft because the idea of what I'm doing here, and I like the bonus chest, uh, here is the seed for if you want it. And I'm going to call it Factory Craft because this is in honor of Factorio because Factorio, it's fun as a game, and I might actually play it. I do have it. I have purchased it. And I'm still considering whether or not I wish to play it, because it it's one of those things that's almost guaranteed to have an end or become stagnant. So, partly because of the whole 2D setting. Partly because it doesn't have decorative blocks, it has functional blocks, and that's about it. But this series is pretty much in honor of that. Now... This is actually the second time trying to record this intro because I made a mistake. And I probably made another mistake with the audio. Yeah. Yeah. Crap. Yeah, because the audio is on here. Oh. Right, I know. And it's not going to work. Oh, hey, the, the bonus chest actually spawned somewhere I could find it early this time. Uh, one of the big reasons why I do this is just because it gives me things right away. Uh, actually, I don't need to... You know, nothing too strong, but it gives me a few torches and whatnot so I can go take over a structure. So, we got access to chickens, it seems, and there's a cave here and a village here. The fact that there's a village here and so close is pretty much the big reason why I chose... Uh, to just use this because I like villages. They're good, they're useful, they provide plenty of access to things but I'm going to need to protect it and light it up. Normally what I do with these is I box all the villagers into one building and that's it. I call it done. I think what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to try and get a fence around it in the first day. And then during the first night, I'm going to attempt to get it lit up before anything spawns and kills all the villagers. So, oops. Now, the railcraft buildings are actually generous. They give you a rolling machine and a steam engine and then a chest with some Minecraft stuff. This is actually a, uh, a workbench card, believe it or not. We'll leave that in there. Ooh, a crowbar. Good, good. Uh, it's got a tiny little room here. And I did not mean to place this here. So, I apologize for having no sound on this. I will have it fixed for the second one. Uh, I will, however, need to make sure I don't stop talking. Otherwise, things will sound a little bit bad. So... That said, I want to discuss with you guys something that I've experienced lately, which is Steam's customer support. And oh man, is Steam's customer support terrible. Now, I actually managed to get what I was after from them by the end of it, but it started with me sending a friend a gift. Now, this friend lives in the UK. And I sent him something. And I thought Steam System would be intelligent enough to realize that it had never actually touched my account. And I was buying it for him. And that it should give him the original copy of it he was looking for. And I cocked... Well, actually, he contacted Steam Support because it was on his account. After a week, they finally replied. And after by the end of that week, so two weeks later, it basically came down to, well, your friend needs to contact him. So then I had to contact Steam. And after a week, they replied to me. And then after just finally, I think a week and a half at least, after I had first sent in my ticket, 
my ticket, not, not even including his ticket, finally managed to get it resolved. So, but they refunded his Steam cash, even though I paid with a debit card. But, I suppose it's better than nothing. I mean, if they absolutely refused, like, I was going to end up making him an NA account. For this was actually for Final Fantasy XIV, but by the time they had gotten the ticket resolved, I'd kind of burnt myself out on it, and he didn't want to play it until this was resolved. And now it is not going to play it because Steam sucks. That's pretty much the short version of this story. So, uh, what do I got for wood? Thirty-two. I need. Is it that house? No, no, no. no. The fence. House is actually speaking of fences. Ah, that's not worth the effort. Oh, this village is a lot larger than I thought it was. Uh, that house will not have a workbench. Is there not a single workbench house in this entire town? I don't think there is. Huh. Wait, that means there's no books. That's unfortunate. Uh, I'm probably going to place myself here in this building primarily, so. Uh, this place has torches, so it's good to go. Oh, come on. Forty. Oops. You know, technically, I could just do this using uh, NEI to help me craft just a metric ton of these real quickly, but uh, I am going to cut some corners, and by that I mean places where I can use less, I will. So, like that. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Be good. Uh, what purpose does that serve? Preventing them from getting up on the roof here, but aside from that, not much. Uh, I will fill this in with blocks. Now, I need to be careful of the underneath bits, because if I'm not, then zombie babies will be able to make their way in, so I need to be careful of those. Uh, this is already kind of fenced itself off, so that does us a favor there. Let me throw. Uh, that has that fenced off. I guess we'll continue the fence along here. Uh, that should be good. My only concern right now is I'm actually going to run out of fences. I also need to make sure that they can't get out, so. Uh, hmm. Oh. Protecting this village is going to be a complete and total pain. Far more difficult than originally intended. Uh, Where's the sun? Oh, 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 this, this is bad. This cannot be allowed. Okay. So, 
Sun is... Oh. Ah. We only got about two and a half minutes before things get bad. And this village is poorly placed. Crap. Well, I wasn't going to lock them all into one building, but uh, desperate times call for desperate measures. Uh, which house would be the best place? This one, maybe? Yeah, they can have this one. There's some torches in there. And now I need to go back to ripping the doors off buildings. Well, this is exactly how I didn't want to lock them in, but what are you going to do? Hey guy, how you doing? Oh, that was your door I cut off. What are you even... Raw chicken for emeralds. Um, yeah, yeah, that I can make that work. There's enough chickens around. Hey guys, you don't want to be down there. Oh, well that's, that's unpleasant. Uh, crap. I don't want them in here. I do not want them in here because they're loud and obnoxious and I don't want to hear them. Which is the same reason why I don't want them in here. I'm going to break this down. You're going to go find somewhere else to live. Excuse me, but uh, I don't want you there. The best part about just breaking the doors is this means that I always have the option of coming back and breaking or adding them back later. No. No. I don't want you in here. This is not the house you're looking for. Hmm. Oops. So I've encountered a slight predicament. That predicament being besides the fact there's a creeper following me now. What house did I leave open? I don't even remember now. It was one of the larger houses. Is it this one? Must be that one. Uh, c Come on, people. You need to find your way... Oh, 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 that's bad. Okay. I need a crafting table immediately. Oops. Stick. This is not how I had desired to fight the night off, but... Well, where are you going to come from, skeleton? Whew. Uh, how's my villager problem doing? 
are all the villagers in this one house. I don't see the cleric. I mean, let's be honest, I don't really care about it. Hey. You need a way out? Okay. Hey, Enderman. Enderman. Come hither. This is one moment where I'm glad the audio is not working. Oh, no Ender Pearl. That's disappointing. Oh, skeleton in leather armor. Cool. Uh, what are you doing, guy? Why are you taking fall damage? Okay, uh, are they defended? I still don't know what happened to the cleric. Well, this is not how I wanted to protect you guys this time around, but... It's the only option I have available because there wasn't enough time to actually get walls built up. But I just owe you guys some doors and that's really all that it is. I can fix that. I have five doors. Ow! I see eggs and I kind of want the eggs. Nope. Ow! Ah, uh -huh. I want the eggs. Ah, uh, crap. If I don't do this, they're going to start popping off when they grow. This is one of the reasons why I don't like ice biomes. Well, yeah, I'm just going to keep it as an ice biome. That, that's the word I'm going to stick with. So, these will give me a sort of access to emeralds. Uh, there's probably going to be at least one I can trade wheat to that, sh that should get me maybe four or five emeralds before the trade wears out. Uh, there's chickens floating around. I've got six eggs. I could probably set up a tiny, tiny little chicken place. Maybe even right here. I didn't get any chickens, so never mind. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, oh, hey. There's somebody in this house. How are you in this house? Well, you're living on the edge. Okay. I'm just going to nod my head and walk away. Uh, let's see. What do I have available to me? I've got... Whoops. Chicken. Guess what? Guess what, chicken? Chicken. You've made a mistake. Enjoy. <laughs> you live in there now. Make me eggs. Oh. Oh. Good show. This is going to destroy some of my available space, but I need to have a gating system to make sure this chicken doesn't get out. Because you're mine now. Do you understand? Actually. Nope. 
Oh, chicken. Enjoy your life, chicken. That's where you stay now. That chicken should be happy. It could have a worse life. It could be stuck on a thing of water floating with his eggs just dropping onto something. This way, there's at least less of a chance that it'll like glitch through a wall or something. Which shouldn't really happen in single player, I don't think, but it's always a possibility. So we've got some of these track pieces, but they don't need to be right here. Not even in the slightest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick these up, I'm going to put them in that chest. Uh, track, track. Daytime has arrived, and you can even them those, because why not? So, storage drawers because I'm curious. So, as you can see, there's different types of drawers. There's oak. Uh, what does this take? Hmm. Holds eight stacks per drawer. That's kind of disappointing. Compact. Uh, compacting drawer. Really? I'm assuming it condenses things? I'm not under sure. Uh, not under sure. Not sure. Show full level. Shows full storage. Near full storage. Fill level. Hmm. Wow. That's nifty. But, uh, yeah. Like, look at this. Increases storage to 13 times base value. So, I can. Th they're not very good when you start. But, like, this will already upgrade it to. So, a gold storage is the size of a normal chest. Uh, by the time you put diamonds on one of these... Well, I suppose you consider each one of these sort of a normal chest size, and you get two per, so it's still actually kind of fair. Hmm. Do I have enough wood to make one? Uh, I'm going to keep a regular chest down in case I run out of space. Whoops. Oh, I'm going to end up with a spruce one. I don't want spruce. Oh, well. Uh, I suppose we could put the little workbench type thing over here. Um. Okay. That's it? You can only put one item per drawer? Hmm. You know, I don't think that's all bad. I'm okay with that. Cool. Okay. I can live with this. Hmm, because this... You could consider them sort of like mini barrels then. They can be upgraded to be basically barrel size in a way. And I believe you can actually run pipes and stuff into them. So they can actually be sort of like barrels. But I can save them for my most used things. So, yeah. Like, for example, I what I should do is I should say make maybe compact ones to put on top of these. And then uh, make one of the compact this one's here, and then store mob drops in them. Chicken? You're not the same chicken. Chicken. I'm going to need you to, uh, no, get out of the corner. No. Okay. Uh, I could get the chicken in there if I had some seeds. So, it is daytime. Uh, I'm going to call this good. I'm going to fix the audio. God dang creepers. Those are one of the things that I want to keep out, but... Uh, for next time, I'm going to fix the audio... And that's not where that's supposed to be.
but whatever. And I'll probably knock down a bunch of trees and probably surround the village in uh, fences. That's for lighting it up. I'm going to have to go mining for that. And we got that nice little cave over there for that exact purpose. So, Yep, I'm going to call this good. And I apologize for the lack of audio on this episode. It will be fixed for next time. And uh, on that, that's when I'll see you guys.